Welcome to another episode of the Neoliberal Realm podcast. This is a video podcast, a video episode on our YouTube channel. And um, this episode is quite important. Um, I did not intend to do an episode like this today. But um, there is a, a recent issue regarding um, uh, Jamarant. Jamarant is in the news and I did an audio podcast yesterday which is available on our Spotify uh, Apple podcast, um, uh, Amazon Music, but um, but with this one is video, and I have I would like to respond to Stephen A. Smith, Perkins, to the NBA, Adam Silver, and also provide some support to the Jack Morant's team on this particular issue, because I believe that um, we have to be we have to slow down a bit on the Jack Morant issue. I believe that the NBA and Stephen A. Smith are using, for those of us who don't know the story, drama, you can listen to the podcast in the Libra Round. I talk about that a little bit and I play some excerpts. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies suspended him for about 25 games or something of the sort um, because according to, because there is a new, you, there is a video that had surfaced um, with him flashing a gun momentarily in his vehicle and it was on, while he was on live. Now, um, now there has been a barrage of and an onslaught of attack. I am this this particular um, episode will not seek to attack Jamaran, but we'll put it into perspective and provide the defense for Jamaran. Now, the NBA and Stephen A. Smith are using their draconian rules to control Jamaran, as if he is not also a private American with freedoms. Work rules should not work rules should not trump the Constitution. And we should not assume that brandishing a gun is anything but protection when celebrities are being gunned down while on social media. It is not surprising that he, Jack Morant, would brandish a gun in his private vehicle from a picture taken by a private associate, or we could call them paparazzi, paparazzi, in an effort to ward off any attack. Rappers have been gunned down in their cars while on live. And this time, he shows a gun, maybe to say he not that stupid. And I'm deliberately wearing a, a Juicy World, a Juicy World. Um, for those of us who know who Juicy World was, he was gunned down. And I'm wearing his shirt today as I do this brief podcast. But I have a question for you guys. What crime did John Morant commit? What rule did he break? Moreover, just because some are anti-gun, does it mean Ja must accept that ethic or morality? This last incident was not reckless or dangerous. Having a gun and parading it on TV is what people do on any, of any race who are fascinated with the gun. He is not playing in the NBA. It's an off. He, I mean, his team is done. He's at home relaxing, fishing, as um, Shaq and Charles would like to put it on their TNT show. He is a private, and plus he's a private individual who has a political position about guns as well. And he is within his right to express a political position about the right to bear arms and gun regulations and rights. Of course, there's a, there's a debate going on right now about how much gun reform do we need. And his behavior could be taken to mean a, demonstrated, a demonstration of his political opinion on the position. Is that bad behavior? We are rushing to judgment. And I must say, if anything, Ja was using the platform to make a political stance for less gun laws and freedom of expression while sending a message that he is locked and loaded while in public for people who are after celebrities. <laughs> Indeed, we are rushing to judgment and now imposing on Jazz constitutional rights and freedom to express. There is no one who can point to any crime that Jazz broke, as he did not. Only break the only thing he may have done was probably break some stupid NBA rule about behavior that is based on preference and taste. That that is that is surface level. For the NBA cannot legislate on players' behaviors 
that is unconstitutional and outside of labor laws. Now you can listen to the uh, you can listen to the conversation I have on the Neoliberal Room podcast or audio platforms for more for the for further conversation on this matter. And we're actually doing a, 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 a poll, and the poll question is: Do you believe that Ja Moran should have been suspended? Yes or no? He did not commit any crime, um, but what crime did he commit? Tell me, what did Ja Morant do? If anything, he was demonstrating his politics, his involvement in politics. <laughs> this is the Neil Brown Podcast. Please send us your feedback. Comment on this particular issue. Let us know what you think about it. You may have another opinion. We welcome all opinions. But on this particular matter, I believe that we have to put it into perspective. And if we are legislating on Ja behavior as it relates to this particular issue, we have to we have to do it within what is going on in this country. The political debate about and in, in terms and what's going on, please remember we're talking about Memphis and the and his and, and there are those people who believe that there is a need for more gun for protection. And there are those who are anti that because of people are losing victims to their to children and so on because of the rising crime and gun violence in this country. He should not be held responsible for that. We will continue to have these conversations. Please support us and subscribe. Share the show with your friends. And join us later this week when we sit down with Raymond Dingle to talk about the lending industry. And then later on, we will be at a live webinar with Statista talking about artificial intelligence revolution. This is the Neoliberal Realm Podcast. Walk good.